If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new legends. Now, we got some really, really, really good legends in store. Some of the better legends that we've had actually in a while. I really like them. They look they have really good stats. They're both very usable cards. And I'd argue that both more meta cards. One of the positions isn't exactly a meta position. We're getting to the video and go through the legends, go through everything, talk about a little, so a little blitz here. Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on the bell, give us a big thumbs up as always. And guys, me and Zerk will also be running some more underdog drafts tonight. So pretty much just a private draft. So similar to a fancy football draft you do with your friends where you play the whole season. These are just weekend long events where you compete in a draft of NFL games and you pretty much just pick players from NFL games like fantasy and we'll be in a private draft so it'll just be us two and eight other people so pretty much you can compete with me Zerk and whoever else from the community that just joined in so we'll be tweeting out the links throughout the day to our lineups and set of our, our open our private games and when we tweet them out you just have to join so go ahead and click the link down below and use my code so you can get up to $300 to sign up so when you go ahead you'll be ready to join and you can play with the money you actually earn from that so that's pretty cool as well but that's enough of that guys let's get into the video let's go check out some other stuff so let's go check the marketplace. So we had the 8 a.m. blitz offers this morning, guys. Uh, the best thing that you could really get from me that I like was one of the best things in the whole promo is this Platinum Legends Blitz Bundle. Guys, I highly recommend if you if you spend money, if you plan if you like spending money in this game, this is the pack. This pack, it's a great pack, great value, you guys. Just gonna go over a little bit. I would recommend, like I said, I don't endorse buying things with real money in this game, but if you do, like if you're a guy that's gonna load up today and buy a bundle, make sure you buy this one. Because if like let's just compare real quick. Um, this is going to be the regular, I'm assuming the regular bundle's up, let's see. Yeah, so there's a regular 8x Legend bundle right now. It's going to be 1,200 mud points, 100 bucks for 8 Legend packs, 287 plus overall uh, boss players of Legends. Now, you get a 92 plus is 5.6%, and then you have the 21% for the 92 plus. Alright, so that's going to be this. So for 100 bucks, you're getting only 8 packs and 2 regular uh, 87 pluses, right? Compared to this one, the Platinum Legends bundle, you're still getting 8 packs, but you're getting two 87 pluses, right, as well. So that's okay. But you get eight platinum players. So you're getting eight platinum players on top of it. And even better, it's like $30 less, right? I'll give or take if you have e access. But it's significantly, it's, it's less money. So you're saving money and getting a lot more value, which is just, you know, like, let's just say the original one was overall value this way. It was, it was worth this, right, at this price. This one is just on sale, right? But then you also got more. You know, the efficiency just shoots up the chart because on top of dropping the price, you're also giving us more stuff. So the, the like the the pound for pound value of this bundle is just much better. So now if we look at it, it contains eight legend bundle fantasy pack, whatever legend fantasy packs, I should say, with a topper of eight 80 overall plus platinum players. Now platinum players are quick sell players. So like if you pull an 80 overall player, they quick sell for let's say 14k. If you pull like an 88 Aaron Donald, quick sells for like a few hundred k. So it's you know a lot of money to be gotten here. And two 87 overall plus players plus a bonus 8900 blitz bits, and you get blitz bits. It's just a win 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 win. Now as far as the value goes, 86 plus here is 3.7 percent on the platinum players. The Legend Fantasy Pack is 5.6 like the other one, and of course the 92 plus 91 percent. So everything's still the same odd wise. It's really just you're going to be getting that increased value of the platinum players and the blitz pits, as well as less uh, money. If you're going to be opening up packs, that's what I recommend you do. And then of course, guys, there is the Campus Hero still in the Game Changer Pack. Around 4 p.m., we will be going over to the next set of offers, but this is what we're dealing with for now. Now. Let's head on over. Let's check out the legends. Remember to be playing your solos, by the way, because your solos are going to be your free boss legend token that you want to be collecting. So at the end of the year, well, not the end of the year, but in a few, in a month or so, a few months, you'll be able to get your free boss legend. You know, it's one of those things where you're like, whatever. And then when it comes out, everyone's like free legend day. Everyone's saying all the legends they got on Twitter. And you're like, you kind of wish that you had did it, right? Kind of always how it's been. But um, let's go on over to it. Let's see. We got 95 overall today. We got Keekly and we had Craig, which were just really, really good legends. And a lot of people may not even know who Craig was. He was one of those, he's one of those legends where a lot of people may not know. And then Keekly was more of a recent guy, obviously. But they are really, really good. Uh, I'm just going to filter out by position probably because there's a lot of them. I see, I see them right there, but I want to get the LTDs in here too. Filter out by halfback, and let's go to Roger Craig. His, there we go, LTD. Played for the 49ers. So let's see, he's 222, six feet tall. You always want to check the physical, so that's average, right? That's like near Saquon Barkley, actually. Like, you know, like tall, decent weight. Um pretty pretty good in terms of that field 94 speed 93 excel 94 agility 
90 carrying, 87 catching, 94 change of direction, 89 truck, 95 break tackle. Now, it is a receiving back, which is going to probably affect things a little bit ability wise. But 94 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility is elite. 90 carrying, 87 catching, 94 change of direction, 89 trucking, 95 break tackle. Now, in terms of Bo Jackson, he does stand up pretty close, although Bo's gonna be like one speed faster. Uh, but he's going to have better, you know, catching and route running than Bo. The only difference really is that Bo's abilities gets the Bo Nose ability, which is just really dominant. Um, 94 juke, 94 spin, 94 change of direction. And he's going to get 82 medium route running, which is really good as well. This is a really great card. Like, if you, if you can't get Bo or you don't want Bo, Roger Craig's probably the next best running back in the game. The only problem is that Bo gets that ability, and that's going to forever and always keep him at the top of the list for a little bit. Got Keekly, middle linebacker for the Panthers. He recently just retired. He was a leader of that Panthers defense for quite a few years. Little Keekly, field general, middle linebacker. This is what I meant when I said, like, if you use middle linebackers in your, on your team, you like them. He's going to be meta. If you don't actually like using middle linebackers, then you probably won't care for him. So it's gonna, it's, you know, it's mixed signals here. He has 93 speed, 93 two excel. Very good for middle linebacker. 84 strength is good. 93 tackle is really good. 93 play rec. 91 block shed. 95 power. 92 zone. He's an elite zone, an elite hitter, and an elite run stuffer at linebacker, which is always good. Six foot three, 238. So he's got the weight. He's got the height. 84 strength is really good. 95 jumping, 76 catching. He gets 89 change of direction, 94 impact block. Like he's gonna be an absolute stud in the run game. 89 power move, guys. Like he's like. He could even pass rush. This card's really good, so he's going to be very hard to run on. He's going to get right off blocks very easily. Um, blitzes, if he gets picked up, he could probably come off of them, which is important, too, because sometimes when you blitz linebackers, if they don't come free, like they get blocked, then it's going to pretty much be they're not going to get through because it's just hard for them to block shit off. Well, power move, I should say, right? Use a power move. And Luke Keith is going to be able to quickly just shed off again and still keep coming through the gap. So he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna wreck havoc. He's a good card. This Luke Keekly card is definitely not a card to just like be like, I don't need it. But he's, you know, he's middle linebacker, so I understand, the, the, you know, where people come from in that sense. Um, now, by the way, this is my first out today I ever pulled Jonathan Vilma a few weeks ago. He so he he went he was just so cheap. I wish I would have pulled one of these other guys, but you know you can't like beggars can't be choosers kind of a thing or choosers can't be beggars however that goes. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Of course, comment down below, guys. Opinion you want Roger Craig over Luke Keekley? He's the better of the two just because of position. But Luke Keekley's still a really, he's a good at middle linebacker. Um, overall, Bo probably takes both of all three of them, right? I mean, at the end of the day, he's the, the recent drop. That's just crazy. So I can't see you replacing him any anytime soon with the, with the, with Roger Craig, right? But nonetheless, guys, if you want to check out the underdog fantasy drafts, like I said in the beginning of the video, head on down below. My link will be there. Sign up and then make sure you're on Twitter so you can be seeing when I post the links. Zerk will be posting them as well at some point, more than likely. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed your weekend. Big football Sunday tomorrow. Some blitz offers tonight. Should be a good weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.